Hi, my name is Naomi. I am a third year student here at Birkbeck. Uh, I currently study in the BSc of Financial Economics, but I actually transferred over from Economic and Social Policy. So, graduated high school, uh, did an international baccalaureate, and uh, then I entered the workforce, worked for a tech firm for five years, and then I decided to come back to school because I wanted to switch over to a more economics-based job. For me, and one of the top reasons why I actually decided to study at Birkbeck was because of the mature student base. Uh, because I had already been in the workforce for five years before deciding to come to university, I, didn't, I wasn't so interested in being surrounded by kind of 17, 18 year olds. Nothing wrong with that demographic, but um, I wanted to be with people that were more my own age, that had a bit more life experience and uh, that maybe had interesting stories to tell or advice to give about uh, maybe previous jobs that they had had in, in the economics or finance field. So that was one of the main reasons why I actually came here. The quantitative aspect of studying economics and finance was actually something that really worried me to begin with. Having not studied maths for at least five years, because that was when I finished my secondary school education. Um, but that was one of the things that Birkbeck's really, really been helpful with. Um, and it's actually become one of the aspects that I've enjoyed the most about the course. I've done the best in my maths modules, which is a complete surprise to me, uh, because uh, there's really good resources, there's uh, great math tutorials, so almost every module that uh, involves any kind of math, there'll usually be one lecture a week mixed with as well one tutorial where you can ask individual questions to any math tutor, um, as well as uh, yeah, there being a very nice balance between qualitative and quantitative aspects of each module. So even if you don't completely excel at the maths bit, you can always still be good at the qualitative bit and still get a very good grade for the module. So after I graduate from Birkbeck, I plan to enter the workforce again before going off. I will possibly do a master's later on in life, but I'm really keen to kind of get started in the financial industry in some way or another. I'm really interested in sustainability. For that reason, um, I would love to work in either venture capitalism or sustainable finance. Um, but what in, in what exact fields, it's yet to be decided. So I've been working um, part-time slash full-time while I've been studying part-time at Birkbeck. Uh, Birkbeck's allowed me to have enough time to do a full-time job for most of the year and then for about the three, four months leading up to the exam, I'll usually roll down my hours a little bit so that I can really get ahead of my coursework. Uh, but yeah, it's completely doable. I fully support myself in London, which I might say I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to do that and uh, work a pretty interesting job. I work as an accountant alongside and um, still manage to get pretty decent grades at Birkbeck. So coming into year one, obviously it's a bit of a daunting experience. It's a big university. It's um, set up in the center of London. So there's a lot of different buildings and kind of finding your way around can be a little bit complicated to begin with. But there's a lot of support for that at Birkbeck. We had, there were a lot of events. There were uh, stewards, student um, helpers and people that you could get in touch with. There were immediately a lot of email addresses and people that I could get in touch with. That was really helpful. Um, I think probably the biggest thing that I only learned by about year two, which would have been it's such a simple thing, but it really would have helped me in year one, would be to just understand how Moodle works and how my Birkbeck works, where to find the resources, where to find uh, lecture slides, where to find a study help, the reading material, and just kind of staying on top of the reading material, doing a bit of reading every week before the lectures, finding the material on Moodle, and then attending, attending as many lectures as you can, of course. <laughs> I think the, the biggest highlight for me is getting, getting used to the school. It's a nice thing to be here for four years because it gives me, it gave me that much more time to really get involved, uh, learn about the extracurriculars as well, the societies. Um, I'm part of the Birkbeck Environmental Society and the Economic Society. They're really fun. 
Um, you meet a lot of amazing people that way as well, people that you maybe have more in common with as well because of course it's such a div diverse school with such a wide age range as well. So becoming part of the societies was a great way to pe meet people that we had actual things in common with. Um, getting to know the school, getting to know the bar, <laughs> that's definitely been, been a plus. Um, you know, where to go, where to study, nice cafes, the area of course, Bloomsbury is so rich, there's so much to do around here. Um, so just kind of getting the vibe, meeting people from other schools as well, it's been nice.